All right, guys, we got Les here with Jupiter Boats, and uh, wow, I don't even know where to start. I mean, get me in this before we even get this. How beamy is this boat? Because it looks like really, really beamy. It is. It's, it's a beamy boat. We flared this boat out quite a bit uh, from our traditional hulls. And what we'd like to do is blend fishing and family activities with also entertaining. So I'll walk you through the boat. See. We have a large seating arrangement that also converts into a live well. So remove this seat. You get into the live well area with the aquarium window. How many how many gallons is the is the live well? Sixty five. Sixty five gallon. You got you got quad Yamaha 425s. You can do trips or quads. What's the running speed wise uh, with uh, trips and, and and quads? So top end you're going to be about 56 miles an hour with the trips and about 65 with the uh, quads. Oh, nice! So these these Yamahas are pushing it nice. Yeah, yeah, they are. Great. So so keep on. Uh, yeah, I'll just show you here. So here you have uh, two cooler options. You can have you can have a uh, chill plate in there, cold wrap Dometics. That is awesome. And then back here on a magnetic platform, removable seats. Oh. You have tackle stations. You have two drawers, tackle. Yes, that is That's very, That's what very, <laughs> very. <laughs> Yeah, whoever wants to fish is gonna like that, and the fact that it, it hides away nicely is it's always a added benefit. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, live well. Oh. Uh, yeah, he just showed the live well there up, up back. Yeah. It's very easy to put back. So they're all magnetic, so there's nothing like break. Very easy to maintain. We're very big on maintenance and issues. And very keeping the boat clean. Here you have Mate series uh, rod holders, cup holder combinations. Okay, sweet. So you got both. You have both there. Then underneath the feet here is uh, one of the most important products you can put on a boat, which is the Sea Keeper. This is oh, Sea Keeper 6. That is awesome. That thing helps. I mean, I, I was saying earlier to someone, I had just gone fishing on a charter boat with six of our six of us in total. Three of them were out of commission in, in less than 30 minutes being on the boat because it was so rough. Sea Keeper eliminates that, guys, and that's what... It's a gyro that basically stabilizes the boat. I'll put a link to a video that I did of them on the top right of the corner so you guys can check that out. Um, that's a video you made that nobody gets seasick ever? That's right, nobody gets seasick there ever with that one. But uh, then if you don't get seasick, how are you gonna get a fish? Yeah, you need a, you need, you need, you need a lot of chum. All right, uh, All right. sorry, Les, so uh, what else do we got here? So large fish boxes, because well, we are, our heritage runs deep in fishing, so we, uh, Try to give you the largest fish box as we can. You can see how far back they go. They do. They, they're very, very spacious in there. Mm -hmm. And you got more storage and access to the bilge back here. So you have more storage here. And then you also have your raw water here. So here's your raw water connection. Nice. And then on the other side, replicates it with fresh water. So here you have hot and cold. And then there's your fresh water valve. And on this side, you have your shore power shutoff. So that's your main breaker to your shore pipe. If you wanted to get access back here to the engines, you would just step on the... So no. the reason why there's uh, no transom doors because this boat comes standard with twin dive doors. Okay. So, so it's got on either side. Uh, both sides, standard dive doors. Same, same size, both sides? Correct. Awesome. Yep. All right. So let's move forward and see what else we got going on here. Mm -hmm. So I'll just walk you through the helm design. First and, first and foremost, we build the boats much larger than they are. In the design elements, we try to build it like a sport fish boat. So if you look at the elements and the way the helm is laid out, it'll look like you're looking at a sport fish, a larger sport fish. And that's in the design, that's in the engineering. So we 
like a very clean helm. So you notice that there's no carling switches. There's no switchings on the panel. Everything is done directly through your garments. All touch screen. Yeah, so it's all touch screen and you could control all your lighting directly through there. You could also control all your functions as far as your pumps directly from your garment. This boat um, has Hellmaster standard. So this is the binnacle for your Yamaha Hellmaster. And then if you open up the glove compartment, you have your joystick. You have your push button start. And you also have your windlass control. Oh, that's nice. You have Helm AC to keep you comfortable. Oh yeah, it feels nice and cold. And then on this side you have your command mic for your VHF. And you also have three ports to charge phones, iPads, if you want to keep them nice and dry. And I see that on these uh, seats here you can go ahead and uh, adjust the footing and everything. Correct. You have a step up here. And then these seats are, we partner with Release Marine to manufacture these and you can have them custom made to your liking. Um, upholstery, bolsters, we have several options. But one of the great features of it is the oh. magnets are built into the wood that you can't oh, see them. Oh, that is so nice. So these are called ladder backs. And I'll show you the back part of it. So here are the magnetic negative and then the positive is embedded in the that is so so cool so it makes for a very clean functional easy maintenance all the way around absolutely mm -hmm. all right this way. windshield here we're very proud of we have a patent on this windshield um, it's a sandwich construction between the hard top and the helm there's no mechanical structures or nothing screws pieces of steel or aluminum holding that windshield together and you notice there's no wiper we treat this with a ceramic coating on the window uh, that actually shears water away, and it's a lifetime warranty on that. Wow, that is good. So you don't have to service it at any point? Never have to service it. If it ever loses that coating, you can just call us and we'll either put the coating again or replace the glass. And one of the big features is if you notice, if you're wearing uh, polarized sunglasses, that you see no spots or dots on it. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That is incredible. Mm -hmm. Patent, right? Full patent? Full patent on the windshield, yep. That is awesome. All right. All right. So just going into the uh, cabin area now, I'll just uh, have you take a look in there. Oh yeah. Wow, this is very nice. And how big uh, was this boat again? So this is a 43. 43, wow, this is a lot of space in this cabin. Yeah, we've optimized the space by using the full beam of the boat. So you have a whole bathroom there separate and everything with a door. We have a full head. The head, look at this head, guys. Look at this. Another magnet held that together there as well. Correct. Don't like latches. Latches break, magnets don't. That is very, very nice. You have a hanging locker next to that. So you can bring some items with you on your trip and have them hung. So as you can see in there, all cedar lined cabinetry. 43 footer and this place looks huge. You have a microwave, TV and reclining sofa. I'll tell you, I, you guys get away with this because of the beam of the boat, man. This is, I'm blown away right now. 43 footer, and I got so much space in here. It's got its own head. Yeah. It's, it's all Separate. about using this, the space cleverly. If we, if it, I'll show you behind here. You can actually see how we were able to achieve it. So that folds down into a bed. And then if I pull these off, you can see we've used what we call our secret storage room. Oh, great. So you can put your valuables in there and nobody will know they're in there. Uh, well, now they're going to know because they, they watch my channel. So that, <laughs> that's it, guys. A 43-44 a Jupiter, that's where all the stuff is going. Yeah, that's where it is going. <laughs> well, um, we won't tell them the other spot, okay? Well, we'll hide the other one. We'll hide the other one. That's a good idea. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, so where's your panel for like... Uh, so the AC panel is right here. 
and this is all run through a 30 amp short power cord, which you have you don't have to do any power management on, which is the key. Oh, nice. This runs um, on short power, or you could also do the Kohler 8kW diesel generator that comes with boat. Okay. Um, and there's your control there. AC, freezers, water heaters, all the creature comforts, battery chargers. How 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 tall can someone be in here? This is pretty what, like maybe so the, yeah. So the clearance in here is six five, right where we're standing. So you could be 6'5 and still be standing in here. Wow. It seems bigger than that. Or, that yeah. or I seem shorter than what I feel. <laughs> so, but yeah. Let me get in here so you can show that storage real quick. Yep. Wow. So we wanted to add a van vanity me medicine cabinet. So you have somebody could shower, still shave, wash your hands outside of the head. And then we add more storage down below. Wow. This? And then more storage here. I'll tell you, whoever designed this space in here, they uh, they did a really good job. And then all your uh, paperwork, spares, all the items that you need uh, for your long range trip are stored under here. Another secret storage underneath the steps. That they weren't supposed to know about, but they we gave it away. We, we, we gave it away. <laughs> well, and you've hit on something. It's 30 years of boat building that gets you to use space cleverly. And if you see the curvature of this entry door, it's a custom door, and it's utilized this way so that your head clearance as you're coming into your cabin is much easier. Well, I'll tell you, Les, one of the reasons why I wanted to come to this Suncoast show is I wanted to see this particular boat. Yep. And I'm so glad I did because it's definitely so far well worth the look. So I'll just point out a couple of different items that we build into the boat. About 50% of our boats is used as tenders for larger yachts and that's why we install standard uh, large house pipes with large yacht cleats on there 50 percent yeah 50 percent of our business is roughly on the on the tender side guys the tender side of the business that's just basically the smaller boat that's gonna take people to the big yacht or the mega yacht in this case right right and that's why you see the fit and finish the way it is it's designed to be the mini version of the yacht. So they can custom, they can custom color and all that stuff if they want it. Customizations galore. Uh, if you wanted to make this boat the mini version of your yacht, that's what we specialize. In. Oh, that that's good to know. All right, so tell me about this bow area and everything you got going on here, because this obviously looks comfortable and people could just lounge. And I the see that you got some. Yeah, the idea behind this section here is to make a second social zone or entertaining zone. So we wanted to keep this area completely self-sufficient by itself so you get entertained while there's something else going on aft. So you have very comfortable seats here, cup holders, rod holders if somebody wanted to fish, and a full cooler so you can keep drinks cold. Would this be considered more of a fishing version type or, or what, what, what would you consider this one not? So the way this version is laid out is really a 50-50. This is a fishing slash pleasure comfortable cruising boat that does double duty. We have made them where they're more on the fishy side and we've made them even more when they're on the pleasure side. That is awesome. So this table can come come in and out and, and you can remove it? This table can come in and out. It could also be pneumatic. It can also be matched to the release seats that you see the ladder backs. So release also makes tables for this area. That is awesome. And there's I'm assuming there's storage, nice there is storage ample storage here. If you didn't want these ladder backs, they pop out just like that. You can put them away. You don't have to use them. And then you have very large insulated storage underneath the seats. All right, wait, wait. I gotta start talking price because <laughs> the, I mean, I, I, I'm, I mean, how far up are we going already? I mean, what are we looking at as far as price on something equipped like this? So this boat, the way it sits here at the boat show, is at a million one. A million one. And that's everything you're seeing, Sea Keeper, four engines, and all the upholstery and release seats in there. Windless up front. Correct. Windless is up front, bow thruster underneath the table there. That is awesome. So I mean, it's kind of modular too. If you just want to go ahead and set it up a certain way, you take some things on and off, depending how you want to set it up for the event or the day that you're gonna 
Correct. The idea is that you could make this more fishy, convert it, put things away, or make it more pleasurable. Um, we do a standard step into here because we know most people are also coming in and off the bow. So make it easy to fish as everything's non skid. Okay, good. And then also I like that. Great. We do have fresh water connection up here also. So what are you looking at as far as uh, fuel capacity and, and speed and range on this boat? So this boat has 602 gallons of fuel. Okay, wow. Well, so and uh, on this boat, uh, cruising, you're burning, burning about 0.8. Okay. And, and what's, what's the total weight of the boat, you know, say with fuel and... Total weight of the boat is going to be just around 20,000. 20,000. And with the triple engines, you're burning about 0.9. Right at one. Listen, for, for trips to move this huge boat, 55 plus, that, that's pretty impressive. It's a, it's a very unique haul. A lot of people don't know about it, but it's one of the best hauls built. It's called the pad haul design. And only a few builders build that style, uh, but it came from the offshore racing industry. And it has a lot of nice characteristics. The boat tracks very well. You don't even have to have your hands on the helm, and it'll track straight and it planes very easily and it has a large planing range. So you can plane this boat out at 25 mile an hour and take it all the way up to 60 if you wanted to. So unless, if they wanted to find out some information on where to go to, to get more information on, on Jupiter boats, uh, where can they go ahead and either reach out to you or the company? Where to, can they go online to get more information on this product? They could always go to jupitermarine.com. Uh, they could call our offices or they could call any one of our dealer network we have some of the best dealers in the business, and they're all over Florida and all over the Northeast, Midwest, and uh, you can contact them for a sea trial, or you can call us and we can arrange one. Do you guys have any waiting lists or anything right now on these builds? Right now, it's about a year plus out on this boat. Wow, that's, I mean, it's like that everywhere right now, to be honest with you. Um, so, that's, 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 that's awesome, uh, great for people to know. So, I really appreciate your time. Thank you yep. for letting me showcase this fantastic boat. Guys, check out Jupiter Boats. I came from Miami just to check out <laughs> this boat. I didn't see it at the Miami show. I felt bad, and I was like, man, I got to go see this monster. This is a monster. So it's 600 gallons, right? 602, exactly. 602? Yeah. So 500 miles plus on the... 500 miles, easily. Should be able to pull out about 525 on it. 525 yeah. on it? Yeah. Uh, cruising speeds or...? At cruising speed, which cruising speed is right about 38 miles an hour. 38 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. That's good. Really nice boat. Thank you. Les, thank you so much Absolutely. for your time, man. You hey, coming. check us out. Uh, Alfred Montaner on YouTube and Alex is also uh, putting videos oh. of all the walkthroughs we're doing. Alex is just a clown. All right, guys, we're out of here. Let's go to see some other boats. Thank you, sir. Stop making a scene, Alex. Stop you are making amazing, a scene. Yes, bro. You are amazing. <laughs> I don't know for some reason. Every time you're screaming on YouTube, the better. The more you scream, the better. So you gotta scream. You gotta scream. Stop. Ah! There you go. Jupiter bolt. Ah! Ah! <laughs> All right, guys, we're out of here. Look at these. Look at these Yamahas, guys. Monsters, to say the least.